Hello everyone, my name is Ben. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement Apple Pay with the new Judo iOS SDK. Alright, so let's jump right in. Uh, first off, we need to create a PK payment request uh, object that contains all the information necessary to show the um, past the uh, Apple Pay sleeve. Um, be aware that the PK stands for PASCIT, so uh, the API lies within the PASCIT framework. Uh, we need to set a merchant identifier, which we defined previously in Xcode or uh, in the Apple developer portal. Uh, for our testing purposes, we've chosen that one. Uh, next up, we need to uh, define both country code and currency code. Uh, be aware that those are standard ISO formats. So we're going to choose uh, the United Kingdom, which is uh, GB and uh, pound sterling for uh, GBP. Um, and we need to define, of course, the supported networks. So uh, the user that is trying to pay uh, needs to be in either one of the defined uh, networks. Uh, for now, for the testing, we're choosing uh, Amex, MasterCard, and Visa. Um, we can also define uh, a capability, which is, in this case, a 3DS capability. And um, at last, we are define uh, an array of items, which uh, are going to be shown on the sleeve. So, for example, the uh, user has chosen multiple items. Uh, then we can list them up here with uh, with a label and a uh, an amount string or a decimal number rather. Um, or, for example, we can choose to show the, the, the subtotal and if there is shipping cost, add the, the shipping cost in here. Alright, so now that we have added all the items, we can, uh, can actually start creating the view controller, um, uh, which can be, for example, a uh, list of items that the user selected for shopping. Uh, or, uh, as an example here, we're just going to show a subtotal and a uh, shipping cost, which uh, are going to present it on the view and are automatically um, calculated for uh, total amount. So now that we have the list, we're going to set it as our uh, payment summary items in the request uh, object. And we're going to add that uh, shipping address field is required. <laughs> and now we're going to create a PK payment authorization view controller which is uh, the actual controller that uh, is going to show the view. Um, this view controller is initialized with uh, the PK payment request object. Uh, we're going to set a delegate because we want to be notified when the authorization has been authorized and uh, the payment of the authorization was successful. And in the end, we're going to present the view controller. So for the first delegate method, that's going to get called uh, as soon as uh, Apple returns uh, with a successful authorization. Uh, we're going to we're going to initialize a, cons uh, a consumer uh, object, uh, which is getting a reference. We're going to create a JP Apple Pay transa transaction object. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward. Uh, transaction here um, and it contains just a few lines which you need to to enter first of all we need the PK payment object 
we need, which is uh, defined in the delegate method. We need to set the amount. Unfortunately, the payment object does not hold uh, information regarding the amount, so we need to specify that again. And I think uh, 3099 and 499 is 3598. Um, we're going to set the kjudo string, which is a which is a static string, uh, and uh, we need to set the payment reference. Uh, payment metadata is nil, currency is GBP, unfortunately that we have to define that as well again and we're going to set the consumer. And the last step is uh, making use of the transaction processing API service and um, pay with Apple Pay transaction. We're going to pass the Apple Pay transaction object which we just, with we, which we just created and making sure that after uh, in the success block or in the failure block um, after the transaction was successful or uh, we received an error we're going to handle that and reply uh, to the completion of the delegate method and state uh, whether it was a success or a failure if it was a failure you can choose uh, from either one of these failure cases and return those so that the Apple Pay um, sleeve uh, will have a clear representation of that and as soon as the completion is called uh, the delegate method uh, did finish will be called and we have to just make sure that we dismiss the view controller uh, so that we can uh, guide the user back to the main screen thank you very much